Hi, today I have prepared two multiplied choice questions for you, and this question is going to be about population genetics, and as usual I recommend you uh, to read the questions, answers, stop the video if you need a time to think, and when you would be ready uh, you can run video again and uh, you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. A change in allele frequency within a population due to chance is called, and here is the four answers to choose from, uh, fixation, drift, wonder, and wobble. And um, if you choose wobble, this would be correct if the, uh, the question would be about uh, the third position of uh, nucleotide in the codon. So we call that uh, position wobble position. But this doesn't answer our question today, so we have to cross out this answer. Answer C uh, have nothing to do uh, uh, with genetics. And we left with two answers, fixation and drift. Uh, and both of them would uh, uh, lead to change in allele frequency, but answer A uh, would mean that uh, one of the alleles would be lost. For example, if we have two alleles and only one would be left, if we have many alleles, uh, once again, that means that all of them would be lost except uh, only one. So we call that uh, one allele that is left, uh, that, uh, that lift is fixed. And uh, the best answer today would be drift, so uh, the change in allelic frequency within a population due to chance is called uh, drift. So the correct answer would be B. And question 2. The lack of genetic diversity seen in populations of uh, American bison is probably due to and uh, four answers. Answer A, migration. Answer B, mutation. Answer C, selection. And answer D, a population bottleneck. So, uh, genetic diversity um, um, can be uh, lost due to migration, but this is not the case because uh, there is no other uh, bison that uh, will cause this um, loss of genetic diversity. So we can cross out this answer. Mutations usually uh, cause uh, new uh, alleles, so uh, cause uh, uh, diversity and uh, sometimes cause new varieties. So uh, this is a process of evolution and uh, usually it doesn't uh, have any um, connection with uh, loss of uh, genetic diversity. So we can cross out this answer also. And uh, we left with two answers, answer C selection and D population bottleneck. So also uh, we don't have here any selection, there is no any uh, environmental pressure, but uh, what we uh, can see here uh, the pressure from the humans. So humans cause uh, uh, decrease in numbers of the uh, American bisons by overhunting these animals. So imagine that at the beginning we had a, a diversity of uh, bisons and uh, I can just uh, use different colors um, to represent different, um, uh, for example, alleles present in this gene pool. And um, some alleles can be uh, present in more quantities, some in smaller quantities. But anyway, uh, this were initial uh, situation. So there was a diversity, but due to overhunting, and due to introduced uh, disease from the uh, domesticated animals, uh, uh, bisons uh, become uh, almost extinct and uh, just very few 
uh, left and uh, then uh, the population were restored but as you see uh, diversity were lost because all these uh, other uh, genotypes and uh, alleles present in this initial population were lost uh, due to um, those factors uh, that I uh, mentioned earlier and uh, we call such uh, uh, lack of genetic diversity caused by a population bottleneck and this picture just uh, show what uh, happens when we have a bottleneck and bottleneck can be due to a number of different factors some of them can be environmental factors like a change in environment in uh, uh, climate for example or introduction of diseases and uh, other for example uh, natural uh, predators so um, in such cases we also can uh, observe uh, loss of uh, genetic diversity due to um, population bottleneck so the correct answer would be D and I hope everyone were able to answer these uh, questions today correctly. Uh, thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.